Two and a half years ago, a St. Louis man was laying near death after being attacked by two chimpanzees at a sanctuary in South Africa. While that attack took so much away from Andrew Oberly physically, it did not affect his boundless spirit. Andrew recently decided to share his story of recovery with R.K. Quinn. After the attack on June 27, 2012, Andrew spent almost six weeks in two South African hospitals before being flown home to St. Louis University Hospital. He was on a ventilator for 32 days, his condition so grave, we can't show you pictures from that time. And in the years since, he's had to relearn how to walk, use his hands, even smile. So that's coming back. That's good. Each and every smile. meeting with St. Louis University Hospital plastic surgeon Dr. Bruce Kramer is an opportunity to celebrate. But I can straighten this one out all the way now. Wait, no, which I couldn't. Could, yeah, that's awesome. You've worked hard on that. Yeah. Recovery and rehabilitation, no one, not even Dr. Kramer, could have dreamed possible when Andrew first arrived. Things weren't very pretty at the beginning, and now everything's, you know, miraculous. And so, I, you know, I want to show show the world, I mean, the great work that my doctors did, it's, it's insane. Wow, Miraculous is doesn't overstate how far he's come. With injuries all over his body, missing much of his nose, hands, and feet, fighting infection much like a burn patient, Dr. Kramer and his team would draw on every technique in their tool chest to help him heal. We did topical wound management, we did skin grafts, we did some different types of flaps. Like this abdominal flap, a multi-stage operation where skin from Andrew's stomach became skin to cover his forearm. Uh, this is getting a little thinner too. It's yeah, not as, exactly. not as yeah, puffy no, that's, as it was. Ironically, yeah. doctors reached into the animal world to treat these injuries caused by animals. Matristem looks like Parmesan cheese, but it's an experimental tissue repair product made from pig bladder. It was used to regrow tissue all over his body. It really encourages the body to go through its own normal healing processes, and it really limits scar. Here, this has been... Again, the thing I like is that this is really durable. What was more difficult to limit was the pain. I just think he took himself to a mental place where you focus on what you can change and do and you try to let go of the other. Andrew's had 22 operations here at St. Louis University Hospital since he arrived back in St. Louis about two and a half years ago. And while his recovery's been nothing short of remarkable, Dr. Kramer says he's learned valuable lessons from Andrew, techniques that are helping other patients each and every day. But it's his patient's extraordinary spirit this doctor cherishes most. Andrew's taught me lessons of life that you can find positive in even the darkest things. Move this guy up one slot. A positive outlook that's helped him adapt to this robo hand. Grabbing a big dish out of the oven, you know, big casserole dish, puts a lot of stress on the one finger. And his sense of gratitude that stretches from San Antonio, where he'll earn his master's degree, to all of the doctors and nurses at St. Louis University Hospital and the hospitals in South Africa that saved his life. Yeah, it's much better. It's overwhelming, it really is. I, it's, hard to, it's hard to wrap my head around just, you know, how awesome people are. And Thank you very much. You betcha. You take it easy, okay? How much they care about somebody they don't even know. It's, I'm very <laughs> blessed. Andrew will complete his master's in anthropology in May and is considering going on for his PhD. But he also sees himself working with children or people with disabilities. I have more on his recovery, including a list of all the people he'd like to thank, when you put Andrew in the search bar at KSDK.com.